Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you new to my channel, my name is Jelena, and I'm the Woods owner of LBE. Okay, y'all, so let's talk about floral. Um, I am really, really very, very interested in perfecting, I won't say perfecting, but kind of mastering um, an ideal of a simple floral arrangement, just simple ones. Nothing spectacular, nothing bougie, nothing, just a simple floor arrangement that I can put together and just make look pretty. So, um, of course, I've been on the hunt. That's one of the reasons why I was in Michael's. Um, one is I, I needed some, um, what did I pick up from now? Some foam. Um, and I used my little clearance thing, my, you know, my little points and my little um, doohickey coupon. <laughs> Couldn't get it out um so it brought it down like even cheaper so um i went to marcos to get that um and then i went to hobby lobby to pick up some mesh and unfortunately <laughs> i picked up some easter baskets too uh what it sounds like easter baskets but they were set in there for easter baskets but you take the little y'all know remove the little uh cotton thing or the little fabric around it and then make it to a regular basket uh anywho long story short um i was looking for floral pieces of course they had their floor on sale but it was not cheap enough for me especially if somebody that's doing like a trial and error type thing with this to see if i'm really gonna make it work um which i believe in myself but i'm just saying i just didn't want to spend a million dollars for no floor picks um so my next thing was i had to go by hobby lobby to pick up some glue sticks for my wireless glue gun um well i can't say it's wireless it has a base um, but you can remove it from the base and use it everywhere. Um, but anyway, I was like, okay, let's just look at their floor. You know, you, you done been to all these other stores. Let's check how, let's check Walmart out. Well, uh, if you're in your Walmart, and I know most of you all are doing your clearance shopping for Easter. Um, I personally, our store says 75% and I'm like, no. Um, and even at 90%, I probably will still say no because I have enough stuff. I don't need to buy anything else for Easter. I have so many boxes of stuff over there that I don't want to even look at again. And I don't want to put nothing else away pertaining to Easter. So, I will give you all Easter. <laughs> no clear shopping for me. Except for those bastards from Hobby Lobby. They were on 90% off. Um, now, I'll take those all day long because you can use them for, for, for um, Mother's Day, Christmas, Fall all of the above because they're just regular wicker baskets and you just take the material out and boom you got a basket for year round um so other than that um i was in there looking for floor pieces and whoo baby when i tell you scan 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 ain't none of this floor marked on clearance none of it but i'm gonna tell you what to look for prime example my first piece which is called a carnation pick you look for the green tags when you find the green tags, because the new floor they have out now has blue tags, like a royal bluish color. You look for the green, green tags and you need to scan them. Reason being, this particular piece was 66 cents. On to the next one. <laughs> this is a tulip pick. As you can see, nice pretty pink tulips. You know, they're fake, yeah, whoop de boo but you can still make this work. Again, green tag, no price on the back. Scan, 44 cents. All right, we got a, uh, what's this called? Uh, Forsythia pick. I hope I said that right for all you floral people. <laughs> Again, green tag, scan, 24 cents. We have our blossom pick. Cherry blossom, you know, the whole shebang. We have a blossom pick. Again, green tag, scan it, 24 cents. All right, one of my favorites. We have our mini ranunculus bush. Hope I said it right again for all you floral people. If not, correct me. Thank you. This is what it looks like. Whoa. I know. I know. Hmm. Green tag. Hey, I started getting the hang of the green tag situation. So some said, scan it. Scan it. $1.50. Now I know y'all saying, oh, you can go to, to uh, Dollar Tree and get, you can't go to Dollar Tree and get that. Dollar forty nine cent. Don't worry about it. I'll take it. All right. Next up, we have the rose pick. Again, green tag. I'm missing one. It flew off somewhere. It's okay. Green tag. No price. Scan. And it's what? 
49 cents. All right, we need some greenery. I only picked up two of these because this is a lot of greenery and the arrangements I'm probably gonna do are kind of small. So hey, we'll make it work. We got some other green, we got the eucalyptus, we have the, um, I can't think of the other one, but it's the one I always use too in my reefs and closing gifts and stuff like that. So I got enough greenery, I, I believe personally, um, to make it through, but I was still wanting to get some of this. Uh, again, green tag, this is called a mixed greenery bush priced at $3.47. When you scan it, it rings up $2.50. I picked up two of them. One of my all-time favorites. Bam. Y'all, when I tell you when I saw these and I saw that what? Green tag? I said, oh, how much are they? <laughs> how much are they? 94 cents. Y'all already know. <laughs> Cause, because one reason is I am also purchasing for my front porch. Um, I do not use real flowers out there. It does not get a lot of sunlight. Um, and when it rains, the rain just like slashes through the front porch. So um, plants and flowers and things do not last out there. And um, I'm tired of investing in, in real flowers and they die two, two days later. So therefore, and I don't have time to go out there and do all that gardening and stuff. So therefore, we have to put fake flowers out there. Well, the flowers I have out there have been out there for more than a year. So, <laughs> the reason I say more than a year is because I put them out last year and they were still coming on into this year, which is a little bit over a year um, from when I put them out. Um, and I still have fall decor out there too um, that I have yet to take down. Don't judge me. Um, so, of course, I had to pick up. <laughs> pick up that's all I'm gonna tell you um, because this is cheaper than going to the Dollar Tree and you get more and to me a better quality as y'all can see that color is blinging in my camera so that is what I picked up today and I did not pick up just one of each <laughs> nope I found every last one on the head uh, you're gonna sell me some for 24 cents I'm gonna take them out um, so I picked up those and of course y'all know I have the roses I'm going to try to incorporate a lot of this stuff together um, to come up with some awesome arrangements or what I think is awesome because I feel like I can pull it off if I just put my mind to it I can do it so we gonna do it <laughs> and then of course I have to work on I'm gonna show y'all these because a lot of people been asking me about these so I showed y'all those white roses last night the little small ones these are the bears and I know y'all like that bear looks small well it is kind of small but once you put the roses on it it makes it so much bigger because the roses stand out um and then I mean basically what I do is um I start with the outer layers like I start with the head and work my way around here so I'll take some high glue and run it and then I'll just put all the roses on there hold them down for like two three seconds um and just let it sit there for a few minutes and then i'll start on the next row going all the way around well not the bottom but all the way down on the sides so it kind of looked like um the lion king with like the extra <laughs> y'all know what i'm trying to say but anyway once i do that then i'll go in the crease and then i'll work on the creases of the ears and then i'll fill in all the gaps in between there um i'll try to do a video on these it is very not can't say very time soon but it, the video might be a little long um, but I'll try to make it work for y'all. Um, but I'm doing all of these in white. Uh, white roses. Because I want them to blend with everything that I create. Um, just in case I want to throw these in there. And these will be in my more expensive baskets. Um, and I'm not doing like them in the box and all that stuff. Because I don't have those boxes. And I'm not about to order. So they're going to go in some baskets. So I want to make them nice and pretty. And then we're going to set them in some baskets. So I can get rid of them. Because I don't want them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I want to sell them. I don't want to give them away free, but I want to incorporate them in baskets to get them out of my hair. So, then again, I may not put them in Mother's Day baskets. I may take one of those Dollar Tree 20, I mean, a graduate hats and put it on top of the white thing and add a 2023 ribbon and do them for um, graduation. I mean, hey, 
the sky's the limit. Um, but they will be in all white though. <laughs> and here's what I have left. So I have my work cut out for me. That's what I'll be working on the rest of the day. And also this new this full arrangement that I just took apart. Um, here are the picks. This was Christmas picks that was in it. Um, and this is the arrangement. So I'm kind of cheating because this is already kind of in there. But I'm just going to add some more stuff to it and make it look pretty. So anyway, just want to run y'all down through the floral, the, floral, the floral picks that I purchased today that um, I think will make baskets and everything stand out. Um, I'm super proud of myself for actually taking the time to look through this stuff and try to get my hands wet. Uh, and uh, y'all, hey, y'all out there looking for Easter, check the floral section if you need some flowers. I'm just saying, 94 cent. Like even the cashier was like, wait, what? Yeah, ma'am. Are there any more left? Nope. Not at all. You might want to check your next local Walmart. Thank you. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We'll see y'all next video. Peace.